What's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Red Dead Redemption 2, the epilogue. So uh, last time, John slipped back into his old ways. He uh, wanted to relive the memories he had of the Vanderlyn gang days. I mean, not really, but he didn't need any excuse at all, just barely any excuse to risk his life, run out, and slaughter a bunch of people. <laughs> so uh, that happened last time. Anyway, we uh, have someone waiting for us over here. Is it Abigail? Hello? How you getting ah. on? Surviving, I think. Here, I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is, well, no. Robin killed. like me, cattle, not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. True, true. I was, I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a. Old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater? Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Hey, hey, I'm hey, don't fight in front of the kids. Make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. Tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Aw, that's so sad. Just feels hopeless. You're doing better. Milton! Oh! Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot. <laughs> Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name. My name. I think so. One's in your name, and the other one's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. Make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the Whoa. real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Get. You take it. All right, all right. Into oh. Strawberry. Man, this game is so gorgeous. I love this Were you location. Ever gonna get to Strawberry going like this? It's not hey, watch your mouth, kid. Huh? I like being in the house, Pa. I think just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night? with those men. Did you kill them? I did what I had to do to protect you. Right. It was pride or something? The law was wrong about that. I don't know. I mean, you did really jump at the opportunity to get back in the action. It's kind of hard to take the wild man out of him, you know? Now, according to you guys, this game comes after Red Dead Redemption 1, or is it before? I can't remember. But anyway, according to you guys, the, the, the main character, the protagonist in Red Dead Redemption 1 is John Marston, which if that's true, that's awesome. I really need to play Red Dead Redemption 1. I, I like that they've done that. You wanna take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, it's easy, boy, don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster, give them a little switch. And then hold them one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. Oh boy. <laughs> All right, careful, son. Whoa, careful. Well, this is pleasant. Nice little ride through the countryside into Strawberry. So they've been going from place to place to place, and every single time, John is getting himself into trouble because he just can't leave the life behind. The one life he knew, being an outlaw. I mean, if it were me, and Arthur gave his life to try and save myself from, I mean, honestly, death, sheer death, 100% perilous death, then I would have, uh, I, I would have, you know, made the sacrifice to settle down and be normal. Strawberry, eh, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. 
I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. But then again, that's just me. I don't know. I mean, obviously, John's trying his best. He's clearly not an outlaw anymore, but uh, leaving the dangerous life behind, it's going to take him a little while to get adjusted to normal life. Normal, non-violent life. All right. Here we are. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. All if right. You behave, I might let you drive us home. Oh, what a treat. <laughs> All right, let's pick up the mail. Howdy, sir. You got some mail for me? Hi. I'm here to... Name? M my name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's uh -oh. a long story. Okay, John Marston. Shh. Marston. Oh, he heard nope. that. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. He's so Abigail annoyed. Abigail <laughs> Roberts. Hmm. Yes, here we are. You should have tried that I'm one first. Pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. Kind of worried about that guy that just, uh, I snuck will out the back. help you out. Mm. Well, not these. the back, but the front door. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's, uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here. You take the Ooh. reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Yeah. There we go. That's not so challenging. You got this. Going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we're just going to turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I missed the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving. Watch the road. Yes, sir. Yeah, let's put some distance between Please. us and the town. Find your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Yeah. I mean, Jack should know what's up, right? He knows his father's a criminal. His mother has not made uh, any attempt to keep that Look, secret from him. If I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. All right, uh, let's speed All up. Right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Yeah. Chop, chop, boy. Let's make this like NASCAR. NASCAR of wagons. Huh. Okay, we're not being followed. I'm really worried about that guy. When he heard Marston, his ears perked up. He's like, wait, what? Ho, ho, hold up, Ma Ma Marston. A oh, Vandalin gang. Sorry, hmm. Was that a question for me? No. No. Keep driving. Man, this would suck. <laughs> An open wagon riding through the rain? No, thank you. Oh, all right, let's, let's double time it. Up. Just uh, be careful not to get the wagon stuck in the mud. That would be uh, a terrible situation. Oh man, I can't get over how pretty this game is. Oh, all right, you're a nobody. Let's keep it though. Whoa! Double time, double time, double time. Chop, 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 chop. Someone's following us. Give him a switch. I think we're going too fast, Pa. Fine. Pull your reins in. Well, I don't like driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go and the horse will follow. Okay. Psst, boys, I think we're being followed. I think the horse is getting skittish. You'll be all right. <laughs> 
Yeah, he's definitely following us. What? Oh! Nothing. Just keep driving. Yeah, this is bad. Oh, John, oh, John, I hope you packed your guns with you. I don't know why they didn't try and put more distance between them and this entire location. What? What's wrong? Don't look around. Uh oh. oh Pop, hey. those men, are they following us? Just, just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now. Oh, damn, those horses could stop on a dime. Down. Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, okay I wonder gentlemen. what they want. Let's see what you come calling. Oh, we're packing heat. We boys want with us. Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Sure you do. John That's Marshall. why you brought guns, huh? You sure look like them. Um, no, that's, that's not me, I promise. Different person. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Oh! Did you kill a fella out in Rowan Oak a few months back? No! No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm sorry about that. I'm real sorry, friend, but he was trying to rob me. You're talking bullshit, mister. Kill him. <laughs> oh, okay. So this is how it's going to be, huh? Well, you guys messed with the wrong man. The name is Jim. Jim Milton. Okay. Starting a new reputation. Okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come John on. still got it. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Well, if, uh, if he didn't know I'm an outlaw now, he definitely knows yeah. I've got a past. Okay, back to Pronghorn Ranch. Let's go. Oh dear. See, I knew that guy heard my name and he was up to no good. I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that? Now, compose yourself. You killed them, huh? Son, I need you to hold it together. Oh no, he's panicking. <laughs> you were real brave back there. Real brave. You did exactly like I said. Really? Uh huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. Careful, don't uh, don't <laughs> hyperventilate. <laughs> oh wow, there's no way he didn't know I was an outlaw this whole time. I mean, come on. Sure, he was just a little kid when Arthur went and saved him from before, but still. Hey, uh, you know, Mama wants us to buy some old ranch. You read to her about it, didn't you? Mm-hmm. What was it called? Mm-hmm. Well, what was the name, boy? Peacher's Hope. That's right. Peacher's Hope. Over by Blackwater. Blackwater? You like the idea of that, huh? Us on the ranch? I don't know. Not near Blackwater. I see you as a rancher's boy. Like Doug and Gettys, huh? I wasn't so sure, but... Yeah. That kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. I think we need to do one more job. <laughs> I've got a plan. One more job, and then we'll be free. We'll make it. I sound like Dutch. Only joking. So yeah, they've been on the run this whole time. I, I don't understand why they didn't leave. They should have left this entire place, the whole area, behind and just gone somewhere else. I mean, unless this map is the entirety of the United States of America, which I don't think it is, they had plenty of other places they could have gone. But for some reason, they decided to hover around this location. Although, I'm sure back in the day, riding on horses and uh, hunting your own food made it a little bit more difficult to put a lot of distance between you and okay, bad history. Uh, that was an uh, eventful trip. Hey, don't play. You know you had fun. It was like the good old days. Just don't tell your wife. She will beat you. He's definitely shaking. How is the? Yo, oh damn. Yep. Okay. He has PTSD now. What happened? What? Yeah. I killed some people. It's. I don't. We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? 
Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Uh, probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. It was your dress that caused all the problems. Oh, a dress. come on now. It was a gift for you. R all right, listen, sweetie. I'm not going to look so hot in a dress. <laughs> I don't need a dress. Oh, she was going to wear the dress to look sexy. God, I was about to say. Hey, Mr. I'm not going to look good in a dress. Mr. Jim. Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over well, there in, near the house. There is? Okay. Well, this can't be Thanks, good. Babe. John Marston, wanted dead or alive. Whoa, that's not me. No what are you idea. talking about? But All right, let's go take the telegram. Give me a big pile of money. I still don't know what happened to, uh... Um, I see him. Thanks, Abe. I still don't know what happened to the other characters, like Charles. Um... You, you know what I'm talking about, right? I want that closure. Hello there, sir. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes. Here. Sign there. Fancy outfit for a telegram guy. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. She's alive. Hey, good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. Yes! There most days. Stop. All right, all right, all right. Sadie, Sadie survived. Adler. I'll be damned. Damn, how does she find us, though? All right, let's go speak to Abigail. Listen, sweetie, I gotta go meet up with Sadie. Yes, she's crazy, but she says there's money involved. Well, maybe. Oh, and I just stepped into a, uh, a tree stump. <clears throat> gotta watch where I'm going. Now, what does she mean it pays well? Who knows? Maybe she got the money in Blackwater. Or maybe she went back into the cave where Dutch had the money stashed and, uh, well, I mean, stole it. Who knows? And we can find out what happened to everyone else, too, most likely. At least I hope so. Abigail. Oh, no. Don't tell me she left. She left. Are you kidding me? After, after everything? Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Aw, oh, come on. After everything? Arthur's sacrifice? Oh, that's the package. Maybe she got him a dress after all. The hell is that? <laughs> a new shirt? <clears throat> hey man, you better go get your woman back. Oh, where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? 
You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. Okay, well then. That's kind of sad. But, uh, it seems as though that, uh, she's not completely gone. She left, but hopefully if John can get himself enough money to buy a, uh, an actual ranch, piece of property of her, you know, her, him, his own, then, uh, maybe she'll come back. John, you gotta wise up, my man. You got a wife, a son, Arthur sacrificed his life so you guys could get out alive, and you're gonna sit there and throw that all away just because you have that mean boy streak inside you. You never could shake that. You need to, you need to go straight. Like, truly, drop the guns, give up the act, and, uh, well, I don't know that <laughs> moving to, uh, Blackwater or outside of Blackwater and getting your own ranch, I'm not sure if that's the best move, but, uh, definitely putting some distance between you and all the bad things that have happened in this area is a great idea. All right, let's pick this up and, uh, rebuild the fence. There we go. Come on now, chop chop, my boy. You gotta earn some money, get your wife back. Damn, he is strong. Takes like two swings to put that thing straight in the earth. <laughs> oh, of course we have to rebuild the fence after the insane bull got loose. You know, if Dutch's plan had ever worked out, we wouldn't have to be doing this. We would be in Tahiti. But he never had a plan, did he? Nope. What did happen to Dutch? <gasps> Oh, hopefully when we go into town to speak to, uh, Sadie, maybe we'll get that closure and know exactly what happened to Dutch. This sounds terrible, but I kind of hope something bad happened to him. He was responsible for so many people dying, including my favorite character, Arthur Morgan. All right, John's definitely putting in the work. That's one way to get in shape, I suppose, being a rancher. A few months later. Has he earned the money? Can he buy a ranch now? <laughs> Definitely not. There's no way it'd take more than a few months. But that's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. You know, Mr. Dickens, for some reason, reminds me of the prospector from Toy Story 2. I don't know why I'm thinking of Toy Story 2, but does he not? I swear to God, he looks like the prospector from Toy Story 2. <laughs> a movie I have not seen in a very long time. Like since, I don't know, maybe when I was a kid, but for some reason that popped into my brain. <sighs> I don't think science could truly explain what happens up here. I have a very broken brain. And you're a very fat, lazy dog. All right, let's go to, uh, talk to Mr. Geddes. Still, weird name. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! I'm right, right here. <laughs> <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. Which I'm sure you have many. Every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've... Tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure, it'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Here's my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. 
You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. <laughs> You'll get her back. All right, then. I guess that works. <laughs> he was not joking about Brazil, either. He hates his wife, Mr. Gettys. Oh, hello, hello, hello. Oh, I, I'm guessing those are his nice clothes. Nice clothes. Yo, 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 let's go into town and talk to Sadie. Damn, look at us. Arthur's hat, pimped out of my cowboy clothes, got my heat. Woo. Let's go into town and shoot up the bait. No, I'm joking. Okay, now has John actually become a good man? Has he actually changed? I don't know about you, but if I was married and my wife left me, I would change real fast. Forget being alone, that shit's boring. All right, oh yes, 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 yes. Okay, let's go into Valentine and speak to Sadie. I really want closure. I, I need to know what happened to Sadie, what happened to Dutch, what happened to uh, Micah. Oh, I hope he died. <laughs> What's this music? I've been too fast. Oh, shit. Right in the trees. Ooh, love me some hillbilly music. I'm gone. This big old world sure got me around. Definitely getting a copyright claim for this. I heard a voice that said, just settle down. Okay. And with the moonlight as my guide, and with his feeling deep inside, I know that Very peaceful. I am homeward bound. Well, the music would lead me to believe that uh, things are starting to get a little bit brighter for John. At least I hope so. All right, all right. Let's give it up for old Grandpa. I love the cinematics in this game. I missed a few in the past. You guys yelled at me a lot in the comments. Sorry about that. Oh, whoa. whoa. Oh, I thought for a minute there I had a gold gun. <laughs> it's just bronze plated. I have seen. And this just keeps going and going and going. Okay, no more cruel, cruel world. That that could be good, right? Now, if he takes a loan out to buy his own ranch, how is that going to work? It would take a long time to get a ranch profitable. So how are you going to pay your dues in the meantime? Why do I feel like this is all going to go terribly wrong before he has a chance to actually buy the ranch? I'm calling it now, that's going to happen. He'll get spotted or called out somehow at the bank, or he'll put his actual name down when he takes out the loan, and then somehow, someone will find out who he is. Again, if it were me, I would have left this entire area very far behind, especially when my very best friend, Arthur Morgan, gave his life so that John and his family could get out safe. That's what I would have done. I would have been gone. I mean, seriously, Strawberry, Blackwater, Valentine, Rhodes, they're so close to all the terrible places or terrible things that happened in those places. Not a very smart move. But again, I suppose it would be really hard to put distance between you and um, your past when you have no money and you have to live off the land, essentially, or work small jobs to make any money. If only we had gone back for that money in the cave. I wonder if that would have changed the outcome of the game. Probably not. I love that he has Arthur's hat still. That's so cool. Okay, are, are we almost there? <laughs> this is taking forever. Oh, dead deer in the road. What the hell? Well, 
being that the game gave me a cinematic, I'm guessing that means there's a, uh, a large change in the story happening soon. Maybe Sadie will give us some information about what happened to Dutch, and we'll try and exact revenge on him. Who knows? Well, you guys know. You finished the game. I know. I'm very late to this. Yes, we get it. Boing, 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 boing. Banjo music. Cruel world. We're moving on. I get it. Okay, is that it? I think that might be it. That could have been a, a pretty sad song though. Cruel world, I'm moving on. What, does that mean John's going to die? <laughs> no, I'm joking. Oh my God, am I almost there? Yes, I am. Jesus. You know, John, if you had double timed it, that might not have taken so long. Oh, there we go. All right, let me get out of the cinematic mode. All right, all right, let's go talk to Sadie. I'm so happy Sadie's alive. I really love the character of Sadie. Now, if only I could find out what happened to Charles. I did like Charles, too. And Javier. Javier. What happened to him? Fingers crossed, we get some good news about what happened to Dutch. And by good news, of course, I mean terrible news. All right, all right. Here we are, boys. Let's go in the saloon and... I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. To myself, <laughs> She's still a badass. I love it. She hasn't changed a bit. Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time. Leave me alone. Mm. What? Sass. <laughs> Woo! Yup. She's a badass still. <laughs> Get the hell out of here before she kills us all. You, you, get out of here. Mm, 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 mm. John Marston. It is good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Look she at her, she's like a gunslinger. <laughs> Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You, you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She? She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy some property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff, good and bad. Hey, you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight, <laughs> sort of. Mm, sort of, right, sure. Oh, Whatever you it's say. It's legal, um, usually. Then, maybe. Come on, then. What? She is such a badass. Where I love her outfit. Strawberry. Got on the run from New York. Good price for him. What'd he do? Rob a bank. With a gun? No, with a pan. He's an accountant, I think. Sounds easy. Come on, we got a bit of a ride. I know. Hey! Is her horse pink? What the hell? All right, well then, we're gonna help her do a little bounty hunting. You had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Didn't strike it rich, as you can see. Oh! Hey, you're a rancher now. I aim to be. Probably why I can't afford it. <laughs> this country's becoming real civilized. That folk won't be around for long. Well, that's true. I mean, that was the case at the beginning of the game as well. The heyday of outlaws ended a long time ago. So, uh, we have information on Micah. Ooh, I really hope I get to be the one to pull the trigger. Exact revenge for Arthur Morgan, and then tip his hat as Micah bleeds out. Welcome to Strawberry. Looking 
sell your wares or buy some of the best meat. See what you can find. Like I said, feller's name is Nathan Kirk. Banker. Bald. 45. Okay. You hit him that way. I'll meet you in a bit. All right. Banker. Bald. 45. Ask about Nathan Kirk in town. Howdy there, stranger. Say, I mean to meet my friend in town, but I don't know where he's staying. Bald New Yorker, Nathan Kirk. You know where he is? Afraid I don't know. Mm, you're useless. Okay, anyone else? Ah, you, good sir. Hello. You seen a... You seen a bald New Yorker, name of Nathan Kirk, about 45? No, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it. But <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Ask mm. the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season? Good lord. Wow, what a place to decide to vacation if you live in New York. Strawberry. <laughs> I can think of a few places that are a little bit better than Strawberry if, you, if you're trying to find a vacation destination. All right, let's go in the general store. Howdy, howdy, howdy. Looking for a friend of mine. Mighty bearded one? Jesus, that is quite the set of whiskers you got there. Hi there. Can I help you, partner? Yeah, I'm looking for a fella. Uh, New Yorker, name of Nathan Kirk. Never heard of him. We get a lot of New Yorkers. It's a resort town. I've so. heard. I'm sure. Try in the Welcome Center. They tend to know most of the visitors there. Thank you. Welcome Center? You guys have a Welcome Center? I love John's outfit. It looks less cowboyish and more bike rider. Like, I feel like I own a Harley. <laughs> All right, let's go to the Welcome Center and see if we can find our bald friend. Kind of surprising Strawberry even exists, especially after we freed Micah and he killed everyone. There you are. He's staying in the Welcome Center. What now? You head in there and try to flush him out. I'll go get the horses and then wait here and grab him if he tries running. Easy enough. Should be. It's amazing she was able to live all this time. She had a death wish. All right, Welcome Center. Hello there. You, uh, you seen a fella? Fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, s s sort of. Not very confident, His John. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. Well then. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. Mmm. Enjoy your massive chair with a huge eagle above it. <laughs> uh, what do you think you are? Some type of uh, important dignitary or something? Good lord. Oh, I like the, uh, the deer antler chandeliers. Nice touch. This place is kind of fancy. I like it. All right, he's in room three. Yeah, that's right. I'm with the government. S -s 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 sort of. Room number three. Wow, not a, not a lot of rooms to stay in. Jesus. Mr. Kirk. Mr. Kirk, you in there? He's so going to jump through the window. It's just a friend. Oh, just a friend. Oh, I called it. Well, that's the balcony. Sadie, get his ass. Oh, my God. What were you doing? Shut up. Jump on. Oh, shit. All right, then. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm always down for a little parkour action. We gotta get after him. Remember, we want him alive, though. I know. Alive? Whoa. Shut your whore mouth. You went right. I know where he went. Look at him ride. Oh, damn! Play it dirty, huh? Well, two can play that game. Come here, buddy. I'll catch up with you. Where are you going? Shit. Knowing her, she's got a brilliant plan. Yeah, you can ride, buddy, but you can't hide. Come on, horse. I don't know. I don't know what your name is. I, I wish I could change my uh, horse's name, but it's all good. No horse will ever be better than Napoleon. Do yourself an injury. 
and his horse can book it. Found a pretty good shortcut. Monsters! Monsters! Oh, we're monsters! Oh, thank you for saying so. Oh my God! Seriously? Relax, girl. Come on, horsey! Chop, chop! Double time, girl! Double time! Right, all innocent men run. Man, my horse is about to run out of energy. All right, uh, let's give our horse an apple. I guess that'll do something. Yeah, that's definitely not going to do anything. Oh, you're slowing down. Hey, what's up, my boy? Woo, get lassoed. <laughs> I got him, Sadie, I got him. I call me a little varmint. I don't deserve this treatment. Oh, I think you deserve it, all right. Not what I meant to do. Is he gonna try and run? Again. Don't Idiot. <laughs> you can't hide from me, boy. You can't hide from me. Come here. I'm gonna hog tie you. He's loose again. Yeah, I see that he's loose. I'm just gonna push him down in the mud and tie his arms. That's how it's done. Say, where can I get a badass trench coat like that? Uh, that, do I wanna Kirk. loot him? Real fun. I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife, Your wife. Is, a, is a desperate woman. How are you married, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She broke me. Broke you. What? Well, I Where guess that'll make two of us. The money. I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make him happy to see I've got a boss. So I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so I'll come find you. All right, that's so cool. I am very happy that Sadie's alive. And she's a bounty hunter. Oh, she never could have been a regular old married woman working at a farm. She had that streak inside of her just like everyone else, that streak of evil. All right, she's a bit too wild to be normal. Cool, cool, cool. All right, then. Sadie's alive. And uh, hopefully we can exact justice on Micah at some point. But for now, I think I'm going to leave it off there. Hopefully things work out for John. We can, you know, get his wife back, get the, the plot of land, or things will go terribly wrong, and Arthur's sacrifice will have been in vain. Guess we'll have to find out in a future episode. Hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, peace out.